we've got barbecue back here. It's, uh, oh, I, I lost it, Kyle. we got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. Yada, yada, yada. How you doing today, Kyle? Doing right, Jared. I, I, once a, for the second straight episode, Kyle, if we were real professionals, I just, I'd throw this out and start over again. What, what happened to my, what happened to my tongue on that? I don't know. Just stumbled all over the words. But we move forward. We move forward. Do move forward. And we are moving forward with the return of our of our um, rankings. Our tier list. The Sloopcast tier, tier list. list is back. Let's and I'll tell you what, Kyle, let's not screw around. Let's get right into it. Yeah, usually usually these take a, a long, long time to go through. So, <laughs> well, it's the, it's the first it's the first. I mean, the first one takes a while to go through as we sort of set up the tier list and then as as the season goes on, then we just sort of edit it as we go. So that's why we're, we're, we're you know, we had a bye week. We had an op, we had an extra episode. So we thought, hey, let's uh, let's devote an entire episode straight to setting up the tier list. Mm -hmm. Kyle, do you want to. I mean, maybe we shouldn't give the uh, kiddos their dessert right off the top, but maybe we should top four, Kyle. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me, in case anyone's new here, here are the rules. We're only allowed to put four teams in the S tier. That's the playoff, right? That is the playoff, yes. Only four teams are allowed in the S tier. Um, a tier is supposed to be like teams that are playoff worthy, who are playoff quality football teams, but just aren't quite in that top four yet. B tier is a team that could potentially work their way into the playoffs with enough chaos, with enough yada yada around them. They could potentially work their way into the playoffs. C tier is just everybody else that C tier is just the grand other. It's 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 just that's like having a 740 area code in Ohio you're you're just you're just in the grand other of it. That's an area code based joke for anyone in the state of Ohio. Um, and then M tier M tier is supposed to be saved for a special type of failure. This M tier is a team that was supposed to do great things, uh, but has fallen flat on their face. That this is for like a colossal disappointment. Mm hmm. You need to have really screwed up your season to end up in M tier. That's, that's just a real failure of expectations. All right, Kyle. Let's I tell you what, let's just go for it. Let's let's do it right away. I have my top four in line. I know who I want in my top four. Yep, I got I got mine, too. How, how, how do you want to do it? Do you want I'm do you just do want to go ahead and one. say your number one? I'm, I'm going to do my number one. Mm -hmm. I have Texas. Ooh. Ooh. Dang. That's that's actually who I had as my number one as well was Texas. I mean, you. All right. 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 right so right now, right now, through five weeks. Through five weeks. You, you, you got to go off of who you played and how well you've looked. And right now, Texas has has beaten Alabama and okay in in Tuscaloosa and K, in Tuscaloosa yes that that's definitely a big thing and and they beat they beat Kansas who was ranked and you can argue if they should have been ranked or not yeah. but but whatever there's Bama is a really good win and Kansas is a is a good like BC tier team uh victory so yeah i Texas as of right now. And of course this can obviously change going to week six with, with sure. teams playing this is not, tougher opponents and all that. This is not meant to be a projection. This is based off of what teams have achieved to this point. This is not mm -hmm. a projection. This is what we've seen so far. Yeah. So if I'm going to go off of what teams have done and how well they've, how well they've looked, it's it's tough. It's tough for me that number two slot, two and three are very very close to me. I, I right basically now, have two and three as a tie as as well. 
Yeah, so I'm I'm going to go just based off of how well their victory off of their best uh, victory that they've that these two teams have had and where they are ranked right now. So I'm going to give Ohio State as yeah. my number two because Kyle, of their I victory over Notre Dame on the road there, and Notre Dame has a has a solid B tier ish. Uh, victory on the road against Duke. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. So Ohio state. Yeah. Number two. I, I, I agree. Um, very close. Number three, mm -hmm. in my opinion, uh, I'm going to go with Florida state. We, we, we think way too alike, Jared. We all think right, way right. too alike. We, so. we are lockstep. We are lock and step. So Florida, yeah, Florida state had that, had that good victory against LSU uh, and, and sound like too, 45 to 24 victory. It was um, in, in, Flor in Florida State's kind of, eh, okay, they've, I mean, they, they've played Southern Miss. They've barely beat Boston College and they almost let Clemson come back and beat them. But Clemson is another good victory there. But because of how far LSU has slipped and all that, that's that's why I'm giving the edge to Ohio State over Florida State for this week. I agree. Uh, I think I, I, I do have them mostly tied. I am also giving Ohio State for the edge for the reason. Now, if, if Notre Dame had lost to Duke this week, I think they'd probably be even more tied. Like, mm -hmm. you, you know, it, it, you maybe even give Florida State a bit of a, a push there. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, right now, I, I think to me, this is my absolute my lockstep one, two, yep. three. So um, so the next so the next three here, I the neck. So there's there's the there's, three. there's three other teams that I think. Um, OK, maybe you can argue with. Um, oh, boy, it's there are it, it's, a few teams. There are a few teams. Yeah, there, there's like, actually there's like spot. There's like five teams. There's five teams. I don't that think you can, it's five. I so, think it's like. So other, the other other um, I'll tell you what, Kyle, teams who, who five teams other, hold on I have an idea I have an idea the other undefeated you teams name, who you name the your, other you name those five teams I'll put them all into A tier and then we'll discuss who should be moved up into S tier okay all right so so Georgia Michigan Penn State Washington Oregon and I, I guess you could put USC up there USC is not going to be in there but you can put usc up there as well so yep georgia michigan penn state washington oregon washington couldn't find washington there we go washington and the of big, course our favorite duckies oh uh, you, you you got the you got the ducky uh icon there <laughs> the, and, the, uh, the, the straight up o logo because it's such a dark green doesn't show up great on the chalkboard yeah. so i had to go get an alternative and then usc okay mm, that's six teams but i also don't disagree i think i think all of these teams at least mm. belong in the a tier and, and, and the other the other and undefeated teams I, I i don't care right now so so you got you, I got, agree. you got the okay so you got these teams here so if we're if we're gonna if we're gonna break them down here who who has who has the best victory of all of these teams right now oregon oregon yes so or oregon okay. you're not gonna fight me on that kyle we're agreeing too much this episode i was really hoping for more of a fight from you on this <laughs> no no you or oregon has the best victory of these teams right now and now, now let's let's compare now with how well has all of these teams looked. Um, or so, so USC offensively looks dynamic, but their defense, eh. Your defense is hot fucking garbage. If I go to Oregon, if I go to Oregon, um, for the most part, it's 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 pretty good. I mean, they had that really close call against uh, Texas Tech in week two there, 38 to 30 victory, if you remember that game. Right. Uh but they've literally obliterated every other team. Colorado, Colorado, 42 to six. And mm -hmm. they pulled up on the gas. 
They they yeah. could have they could have put a hundred on Colorado. Stanford mm-hmm. forty two to six again. Hawaii fifty five to ten. Portland yeah. State okay. Portland State's an FCS school, but still eighty one to seven. Like, yeah. With the except they've ten points or less in every game except the Texas Tech game, which for yeah. what it's worth was played in Texas. They actually went on the road to a power five opponent, which is more than some of the teams currently in a tier can say. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just trying to subtract teams in here then. So uh, Oregon Saints. So if I go to Penn State here, they, ha- they don't really have a, a really good quality victory here. OK, they, they beat Iowa 31 nothing. OK, OK, that's a that's a OK victory, but nothing, nothing really concrete here defense is pretty good but they, they lack the really concrete victory you look at michigan defense, real, real defense. Quick, on penn state a little bit more on penn state they did play a power five opponent i mean not that west virginia is great but they have at least gone and played a power five opponent out of conference yeah uh i'll also say that some of their final scores are deceivingly good um they have a tendency to sort of wear a team out and then put some points up late. As, um, as Penn State should, with, with the talent they have. I know, but I'm just saying some of the win totals look better than the reality of the football games. Okay. Most notably Northwestern, but that's yeah. not isolated to Northwestern. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, Michigan, if I'm moving on to Michigan here, def- defense defense really good. They vote... They, Points they've led up three seven six seven seven. Okay, R- really good, and they and they should only let up those points based on <laughs> who they've played: East Carolina, UNLV, Bowling Green, Rutgers, Nebraska. Not really the the type of offenses that's going to scare you. So Michigan doing what they should, and some of the in some of these games they they struggled early on, and and they. Kind of like Penn State, they wore the teams down and the score made deceivably look worse or look better for Michigan than what it really was, especially in that first half there. So I can't, way, put, I, just, can't put, I can't put Michigan in the S tier just because their schedule is, is just garbage, hot, hot garbage. Kyle, what's who is Michigan's best win right now? It's it's Rutgers. Or, Rutgers. It's, no, Rutgers. it's Rutgers. It's Rutgers. Rutgers, Rutgers, yeah. Rutgers is their best win right now. So, I mean. If anyone's out there being like, Jared, are you really giving Penn State credit for scheduling West Virginia? Jared, are you really giving Oregon credit for scheduling Texas Tech? Am I when we talk about the Huskies here in a second, Jared, are you really going to give them credit for scheduling Michigan State? Yes. Yes, Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Because there are teams, Michigan among them. If you look at who they're scheduling out of conference, they're not scheduling anybody. USC no. hasn't played anyone of note yet, but they do have Notre Dame coming up out of conference. So that game hasn't happened yet, but they they always schedule Notre they, Dame. That's they, always they, they a huge go. opponent. Yeah. So so I can't put I could pants I can't put Penn State or Michigan in S tier this week. Um so moving on to what I, you were just saying, for what the, it's Husky, worth, the Huskies I would put, here. We're not ranking so, the teams within S tier here. Like we're yeah, not going to get that minutia cool. about it, but I'd put Penn state. I'd put Penn state in that fourth spot before I'd put Michigan or Georgia in that fourth spot. Correct. Well, let me get to Georgia later here. So Washington here, as Jared said, they played Michigan state, they played Boise state, Tulsa, Cal and Arizona early, early on. They, they looked, they looked really good. 56, 19, 43, 10, 41, seven. And their defense is kind of letting up of quite a few more points. They let up 32 points to Cal and yeah. not good, not good Cal team. No. And then, and then we talked about in yesterday's episode here, a seven point victory over Arizona. And yes, Arizona scored a uh, late, late touchdown to make it closer, but it's still close, closer than what the game should have been here. So Washington kind of not doing as well as I, thought they might have but and i know kind everyone's of, kind, going kind of, crazy kind of like about with, the numbers that Penix is putting up but as kyle said 
Boise, Tulsa, Michigan State, Colorado, Arizona. These are not great opponents. Um, yeah, but I do give them credit for scheduling Michigan State. They didn't. Yes. They, they couldn't have foreseen the collapse of Michigan State and, that and, has been this year. Give them credit East Lansing for attempting too. to schedule the game. And it was at East Lansing as yeah. well. So give, give them some credit there. But For sure. I, you then, you at the, least tried to schedule a good out of conference game. And then the and then the last one, Georgia here. UT Martin, Ball State, South Carolina, UAB. So their out of conference schedule is UT Martin, Ball State, UAB. Well, they do also they do end the season with Georgia Tech, which is traditional. Like, so I'm just what, what, I, they, which one's they, which one's worse? Which one's worse? I know like I'm just Georgia's saying, just, out of uh, Georgia or Michigan's out of a conference schedule because I really don't know. No, Michigan's is worse. 100 percent. Michigan's worse. At least Georgia's playing Georgia Tech. Georgia right Tech now, right now, Jared, right oh, now, right I now, know. right now. If you're I mean, if you're just looking at right now, yeah, if um, I'm looking right now, if I'm looking right now based on teams they've played and how well they've looked right now, I, I'd probably rank Michigan ahead of Georgia, honestly. I would, I would too, because of Michigan's defense. Yeah, no, but, absolutely. So, but, so but, Georgia's these... played, but Georgia has played better. Like, both Auburn and South Carolina, well... South Carolina's bad. South Carolina's bad, Jared. I, Rutgers, could, Rutgers could beat South Carolina, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But all, but Auburn is still the best between Michigan and Georgia. The best win is Auburn. Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, Michigan's defense. On the other hand, has looked their Their offense has looked flawed at times. Michigan's offense has looked very flawed at times. They have an incredible amount of talent along that offensive line, but it's not performing the way you would anticipate that talent yeah. to be performing. Um, there's something wrong. There is something wrong in Michigan right now. Um, I assume my assumption is it has to do with all the drama in and around Michigan. I mean, Harbaugh was suspended for three games. There's he spent the last two years trying to get out of Michigan he and the min he and the administration don't get along. That's well known at this point. His offensive coordinator was also suspended at the beginning of the year. We're not far removed from their other offensive coordinator being mysteriously fired. We still don't know what's going on with that. Um, something stinks in the uh, kingdom of Ann Arbor. Yeah. So we went on a big tangent here, going over all these teams here in A, but looking at who they've played, how they've looked. I got to put Oregon as as the S tier then. Kyle, we are lockstep, my good man. We are lockstep. All right. So the rest of those, yep, keep an A tier. I, I think they're really good teams here. Definitely, is, def there's definitely some flaws here, but I think, is there anybody else you want to put in A tier? Maybe Notre Dame? Yeah, I was about to say Notre Dame, I, I think belongs in A tier. Um, okay. You they, want to put Oklahoma? You want to put Oklahoma, who's undefeated, five and zero here. I yeah, I, I they have not looked great. Um, just they are not passing the eye test. Oh my goodness, they are not passing the eye test for me right now. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I think we can put them. I think we can put them there. Um, what about Alabama? I'm going to get to Alabama here in a moment here because Alabama okay. well, we'll put Alabama okay, on okay, the back but, burner. Okay. What about Washington state, Washington state four, no victories over then ranked Wisconsin and ranked mm. Oregon state. Um, I'm mm -hmm. not giving, do not giving them credit for Wisconsin. I don't care if Wisconsin was then ranked. Okay, well, preseason well, ranks get, don't mean anything to me. Now give them credit for, for scheduling the game. They get credit for scheduling the game, but I'm I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like Wisconsin should have been ranked. Okay, and maybe they should be ranked right now too. They're three and one, and there's teams who are worse than Wisconsin that are ranked too. So, I'm just saying. I, I I'm not gonna sit here and make the case for Wisconsin. Okay, so, 
So Washington State no to A tier. They got they got a good. No, no, they got no. A, I'm not saying. Least. I'm not saying no. I'm not saying no. Um, I I think they beat uh, the Oregon State. I was just arguing that like I'm not gonna get all excited over a win against Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. That's all. Yeah. Um, um, but and then the other the other undefeated team here is North Carolina. Their their best their best victories South Carolina Appy State Minnesota and Pitt. None of those teams are good. Let's let's say that those but those are all at least like. Again, those are all Power Five teams at least, right? Again, it, like if we compare to what not App, Georgia not and App. Michigan are. Well, not okay, Appy. not Appy, but they're what you South Carolina, mm-hmm. Pitt. In Minnesota. And Minnesota. They've played three power five teams, which oh what one of them are in conference, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, so the one loss teams, I know I know Notre Dame has a loss, but they, they stay in they stay in A tier. So the one loss teams, Alabama and uh and Oregon State. Alabama has a has a win against Ole Miss. I don't know if Ole Miss is still ranked. Are they? Are they still ranked? Yeah, they're somehow yeah, still yeah. ranked. Well, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's, Miss, that's right. They, they beat they beat LSU. Yes, yes. Ole Miss should be ranked, and Ole Miss should at the very least be in our B tier. Um. So well, go back to Bam Alabama. They have the win over Ole Miss, and then they had a dominant win right now at Mississippi State. Uh, so, this, uh, Mississippi State. No, yeah, yeah, I know, but they, they did what they were supposed to do. I'm fine putting them at like at the very far end of a tier. Okay. Kind of kind of like Oregon State, maybe at the far end of a tier as well. Oregon State has that win over Utah. Again, again, with a uh, without their rising quarterback. Yes. It's, um, it's still it's it's so a uh, it looks to be a good top 20 victory for Oregon State. Yeah. And again, yeah, yeah, the rest of the schedule doesn't look all that fantastic. And they only had a three point loss to Washington State. So I can't you can't you can't um, take too many points away from them for that loss. Yeah. And like Alabama's loss also is not. I mean, it's literally against the team who we've declared to be number one. Mm-hmm. So and then the other, the other one lost team, Ole Miss here. In a, and by the way, in a close game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ole Miss, Ole Miss uh, lost to Alabama 24 to 10. And then just this last weekend, they put out the victory against LSU 55 to 49. I'd put them at yeah, the very, very top part of B. Yes. I agree. All right. So who All else right. should be in B right now? All right. Let's look. I'm just, I'm just, just for the sake of looking at how many teams are undefeated and one loss here. I'm just looking at the AP right now. I know the AP sure. doesn't matter, but I uh, agree. So, uh, so other undefeated teams, Miami is undefeated. They are four and O and their best victory is against Texas A&M. Okay. 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 But all the other teams that they've beaten, Miami of Ohio, Bethune, and Temple, which they've only let up three, seven, and seven points. Okay. 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 Yeah, you can you can stay in B tier. I I can't, yeah, that, can't take that kinda, I can't take that away. You're kind of making a case for A tier, actually. How how would no. you do Yeah, but We'll see. We'll see. It's just it's just the first poll. It's just the first poll. So Utah had that victory over Florida and Baylor. And they've also beaten UCLA and did lose this last weekend to Oregon State. So I put them in B tier as well. I think that's fair. Their offense is not that good. Not that good right now without their. We'll see. We'll see if when they get rising back and how good they look at that point, mm-hmm. you know, they've only lost one game. They're still, you know, in the Duke. hunt. Duke B tier. Beat Clemson. 
and they beat Northwestern and and lost in a last minute drive to Notre Dame here. Yep, B tier. Now Leonard's ankle in question here, where he's he's the heart and soul of that offense there. And without yeah. him, I just uh, th- th- thankfully they have a bye week. Thankfully they have a bye week this week. But then yeah. they go play uh just down the road, they play NC State, then Florida State, then Louisville. So they, they got some pretty tough games here coming up. So it's it's a good it's a good week to have a bye week for Duke. Yeah, I don't know if he's coming back from that ankle. Yeah, we'll we'll see. I mean, um, with with any luck, like he'll obviously miss the bye week. Obviously, uh, <laughs> then he'll. Well, I'm just saying, like he has a week off for the bye week, and then I know I phrased that weirdly, but that's all I was trying to say. Um, mm-hmm. And then you can probably get away without him for NC State. NC State's not any good this year maybe you get it i i we don't all, all we know about his ankle injury as kyle and i are recording this which we're recording this on a sunday night it's by the time tuesday comes around and by the time people actually listen to this maybe there's more news out there but only thing we know right now is that the injury is quote not season threatening that's the information kyle and i have right now uh, so we'll see all right. Um, other other you teams mentioned Louisville. Here. I think Louisville is a solid B tier. Um, yeah, Louisville undefeated. They beat Georgia Tech, Indiana, Boston College, NC State. Um, sure, I guess they they play Notre Dame this weekend. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Yep. Uh, other undefeated teams: Kentucky. Kentucky uh, soundly beat Florida. Now. We can you can have a discussion about how good or bad Florida really is here, but okay, they, they have that they have that good win there. Their other games is Ball State, East Kentucky, Akron, and Vanderbilt. Uh, how okay. do those scores how do those scores look? Did, did they dominate those football games? Uh, they only beat East Kentucky by eleven. They beat Ball State by 30, 32 to Akron, and they beat Vanderbilt by what is that? Seventeen points. Okay. So, okay, They're, they they can stay they can stay in B. I don't. Yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not trying to devalue A too much, but there's yeah. a lot of these so, B teams. If we're being if we're being super honest, there's a lot of these B teams who have similar resumes as some of the some of our A teams. If we're being real honest here, Missouri, Missouri's also undefeated. With their schedule of South Dakota, MTSU did beat Kansas State, Memphis, and Vanderbilt. Yeah, they could stay in B. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they do. They do play LSU this weekend. All right. Uh, other teams here. Uh, Tennessee is four and one. They did lose to Florida. Now, again, go back to the whole Florida argument here. It, yeah. About is Florida good? Is Florida bad? Yeah. And, and that's where and that's how you can rank Tennessee here. I'm, I'm, their, be, I'm, I'm, their, be, their best win is South Carolina. I'm going to put them at the back of B. That's fine. How about that? Uh, LSU. The Mario Man rule applied to LSU here. They've already lost two games. They've already lost two games already. They lost two games in the month of September. Mm -hmm. Listen, Kyle. This was supposed to be this is supposed to be maybe the best team in the SEC West this year. Yeah, they almost they've almost lost to Arkansas. Almost lost. (laughs) And then they lost to Ole Miss this last weekend. Which was their second loss. Kyle? Yep. M tier? You're you're supposed to be one of the best teams and one of the best conferences and one of the best divisions in the conference. And you've already lost two before the clock even clicked over to October. Sure. Sure. Let's put them to M tier. Yep. M tier LSU. 
Listen, yeah. they can work their way out of M tier, okay? I think once upon a time ago, we had a, a rule that once you went in M tier, you don't get back out of M tier. They can work their way out of M tier. But if they and lose the other, again, they, they live in M tier. And then the other team that's ranked in the AP is Fresno State. Fresno State's a B tier team, if I've ever. If I've five and O team. Five and O team. Uh, they've beaten two Power Five teams already: Purdue and Arizona State. Which, Ari- to and they be beat fair, Arizo- they, they beat Arizona State twenty nine to nothing. Which, if we're being fair, is the same number of Power Five teams that Georgia and Michigan have beaten at this point. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so that, are we that's forgetting the, anybody. That's all. That is all of the AP here. Now, if I'm going by other teams that have received votes, Maryland undefeated. Maryland is for sure going into the B tier. Maryland should be ranked. I agree. Missouri can be ranked. If LSU can be ranked, why can't Maryland be ranked? If Louisville can be ranked, mm-hmm. why not Maryland? Yeah. Kentucky so, beat Florida. Okay. Tennessee beat Florida. Uh, 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 oh, you know, it's actually, it's actually, uh, hey, Kyle. Florida be an M tier? How many losses do they have already? Four? It's ten? Ten. <laughs> <laughs> This is their second loss. Okay. But but do they really go in M tier? Like how high of expectations were they beginning of the year? They they weren't even No. They right. weren't you're even right. they right. weren't even ranked at the start of the season. I, I don't nah, think they go in M tier right. yet. Yeah, they don't deserve M tier. <laughs> all right. Um if you ask them, always high. I mean, <sighs> sure. I didn't, right. Kyle, if memory serves, when we were doing the season preview, we're going through the pick six preview. Didn't pick six have them at like fourth in the SEC yeah, something East? Like, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Other, other, other schools receiving votes, Kansas State, they can stay in C. Ever. Yeah, I, I'm fine with that. Uh, Texas A&M, I didn't even see who they've played. They are four and one. Uh they lost to Miami, beat Auburn, and beat Arkansas. I, uh, I don't they, care. Yep, don't care. Uh, UCLA. Okay. Uh, uh, I got to. S- Let's look to see who UCLA has played. They are three and one. They have. They lost uh, to Utah. Okay. Without camerizing. They beat Coastal Carolina. Okay. They beat San Diego State. Okay. And they beat NC Central. Okay. They can stay in C. All right. I agree. Yeah. They can stay in uh, C. Uh, other teams receiving votes here. Tulane. Eh. Air Force. Eh. Wisconsin. Eh, they can stay in C. Uh, West Virginia, they could say and see Clemson, Clemson, Jared. I, th- I think I think a discussion needs to have about Clemson. OK, I'm listening. They were ranked ninth at the beginning of the season. They were ranked okay. ninth. I, I, n- I now see where this discussion is going. Lost to Duke soundly. Okay. 20 now I mean you can look at the stats and blah 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 yes they they had a lot of turnovers but they lost the final score 28 to 7 yeah not does not look good on like up front there and they also have a loss to Florida State which they they did come back in and almost put out a a victory there but it, but nope, for, for, uh, that's their second. Uh, oh, not, not just their second loss, but their second loss in the in conference as well. You, you got a top 10 team just like LSU. Yeah. 
who already had two losses before they turn the calendar over to October. Yeah. Yes, they go to M tier. God, it's so it's a bad year to be a purple tiger. It is. It sure is. Um, let's see. Other teams receiving votes here. Kansas and eh. James Madison. No. Someone always has to be clever with a James Madison vote. And Colorado got one vote. <laughs> Kyle? Kyle? Colorado. With all they can stay and see. They the can stay and see. Just and get, all just... the hype is M tier a and joke. See. M tier, or is it actually the worst teams? Um, you weren't here at the beginning of the show. I'll explain it again. M tier is for teams who have spectacularly failed their expectations. So it's not, we're not saying that LSU and Clemson are the worst teams in college football. We're saying that they were teams with really high expectations who have already dunked their season. Yep. And we put LSU and Clemson down there because they already have two losses before the month of October. And they were both preseason top tens. Mm hmm. Yes. So it's, now, it's they, more it's now, more about can failing their your way, expectations than it is being like. the Yeah. Worst. And, they, and they can move their way out of M tier. Yeah, they definitely can with. Uh, well, at least LSU schedule. I haven't looked at Clemson. Clemson. OK, Clemson can can get their way out of M tier, but they won't get they won't get back into A or S tier, though. No, no, their season's over. Yep. Uh, Kyle, Colorado, come on. They no, they, they, they all stay of the see. attention. They, they, uh, yeah, that's just that's just it. It's just attention. They can stay and see. They they got all the way up to 16th. They can stay they and see. I don't care. They stay and see. They okay, I tell you, see. we're going to keep having this conversation when they keep getting obliterated. OK, OK, that's that's fine. Uh, Spikes right is now, saying, what about UCF? to M tier. They blew a 35 to seven lead versus Baylor. <laughs> they did that. That's a good starting point. Was UCF preseason ranked? Cause I don't believe they were. And was that their first loss? It is their second loss. They've lost two in a row. Who was the other loss to, to both two um, big 12 teams? Who was the other one too? Kansas State. Hmm. We'll, we'll leave them in C for now. I don't know where the expectations really were. Um, yeah. Yeah, their, their, their intro into the Big 12 is not going great so far. Turns out when you actually play a schedule, you know. Uh -huh. Kyle. Kyle. Hi, Jared. Min Minnesota to M tier. This was supposed to be a team that was a were they player in the Big Ten West. Were they, they ever they lost, ranked there? But they lost to Northwestern. This was supposed to be a player in the Big Ten West. And they have been super bad. I just don't think they deserve M tier, though. Yes, I know the boat is. It's not even floating. It's, it's just hovering in the water, just all the water in it. And you, you, it's, it's at that point you can sit in it, but it's completely submerged. <laughs> but you're at least sitting in the boat. That, that's where that's where Minnesota's at. OK, so you're not going to let me put M Minnesota in MT no. at this point. No, just like, no, especially with the what we had LSU and Clemson in an M tier, and then you're going to put Minnesota there as well. No, nah. I mean, it's, a, it's about failing your expectations. And Minnesota is starting to look like one of the worst teams in the Big Ten, which they weren't supposed to be. No, it, it we can keep an eye on it. But for week five after week five, let's not yet. OK, um, I don't I'm really not seeing. Let me let me look at it a different way. Who who else is undefeated that we have not talked about? 
Oh, I was looking for M tier teams. I don't think there's any undefeated teams left. I think the only I think there's only 22 undefeated Air teams. Air Force is undefeated, Jared. Oh, I don't even have Air Force on the dang graphic. They beat Robert Morris, Sam Houston, Utah State, San Jose State and San Diego State. OK. Oh, I tell you what, Kyle, at the very least, they do deserve to be on the graphic. Fair. Um, and I say since they're undefeated. No, they don't No, We can throw them in B tier. They're undefeated through the month of September. Will it last? Will they get to stay in B tier? Probably not. But they're undefeated through the month of September. There's only 22. I believe I saw that somewhere. There's only 22 undefeated teams in college football right now. They're one of them. I think that deserves something. Right. Then, then if we're going to if we're going to play that game, then we need to put James Madison and Marshall up there then. Fine. You made your point. <laughs> At least James James Madison's beat. No Virginia. Madison, Matt. No Matt. Oh, ooh, Virginia, not the Cavaliers, Kyle. It, it, it's 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 a power five team. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> and Marshall has also beaten a power five team in Virginia Tech. Kyle, you're making your point. You're making your points. I'm just saying Nomad's going to be mad at you. Marshall is playing NC State this weekend. Ooh. Uh, literally, you're, you're the only person who made an excited noise at that proposition. <laughs> Man, if I didn't have if I didn't have anything going on. <laughs> yeah, I probably really? still want it. I probably no. still want it. Well, no, what if a, that, it, there's, so, so there's a there's a um, there's some legitimate who, chance um, it's because you because if you're at that game watching college football, you aren't at home watching college football. Yeah. There's there's someone who went to to my high school that's uh that that's the uh kicker for Marshall who ended who ended up win who ended up kicking quite a few field goals in their um <clears throat> in their upset over Notre Dame last year. Now, I don't even know if I have a James Madison on my computer. Which is saying something cuz I thought I had all of the logos on my computer. I legitimately thought I had all of to, them. To be, on my to be fair, it's Sunbelt. It's the Sunbelt Conference. I have most of the Sunbelt teams on my computer, Kyle. Oh, on the computer. OK. Yeah, on the computer, not not in the graphic. OK, OK. On my computer. But those those are the last two undefeated teams, though. It is okay. James Madison and Marshall. I don't know if I have a Marshall on my computer. What the hell's wrong with me? Oh, no, you tell me, Jared. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I just might. I do have a James Madison on my computer. <laughs> yeah, check that out. Look at me. James Madison on the computer in the graphic. And I got to have a Marshall in here somewhere, too. There it is. The herd. Yeah, Sunbelt. Hashtag fun belt. We, 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 we they've made it onto the graphic. So we can say that at least you went undefeated. You made it onto the graphic. Good job, JMU Air Force and the herd of Marshall. Eric, how, um, how's this graphic looking to you? you are, are, are you are you on board with what we have on the? I'm good. I'm good, especially being. I guess you can say early. It's our early rankings yeah. here, but it's. I don't I don't want this to go sound sound uh, bad, but it, it is a third of the season already. So, <laughs> hey, we don't got to talk like that. It's a third of the I regular know. season, Kyle. Yes, we still have conference and then bowl games 
and playoffs. We had a lot of season to go. Don't you worry. Yes. Don't you worry. Yep. Yep. All right. All right. Um, yeah. So we have Texas one, Ohio state two, Florida state three, Oregon four. Um, and that is our S tier. Um, and on, in a tier in no particular order, Georgia, Michigan, Penn state, Washington, USC, Notre Dame, Oklahoma, Washington state, UNC, Oregon state and Alabama. And I'm not going to keep reading past that, except to point out that LSU and Clemson are our current M tier residents. Damn purple tigers. Damn purple tigers. What you going to do? All right, Kyle. Um, that's it. We did it. We we've built out. We've built out the graphic. We have built out the tier list and we'll be editing this tier list as we go. Let's actually, let's actually make sure to go ahead and save that before I, I forget. Say, save that in. I got a, uh, a doc. You can just go ahead and paste that in here. We can, we can kind of compare as the season goes along be like, Hey, this is look at the, look at week five. And then looking at week 10 and see how teams have shuffled around. I will I not. That will be cool. I will not just save the graphic. I will also uh, export the graphic so that we have a perfect living. So what? This was week five, right? Mm hmm. All right. Why are you doing that? I got a yeah, couple what, of what's in Kyle's corner, Kyle. A couple, couple of cool things. A couple of couple of things here just kind of get you get you excited for for this week here for the Ohio State and Maryland game. Ohio State opened up as a 21 point favorite over Maryland. Oh, everyone in Discord server was asking me as but, Maryland but then, but then was line, absolutely the, demolishing the line, Indiana. Hey, or should we be afraid? Should we be afraid of Maryland? Should we? I'm like, no. Nah, but then the line fine. The line fell almost immediately, and it's now a 19 and a half point. Suckers. Take Ohio State, y'all. And the other really, really cool stat here that uh, that 11 Warriors posted here, and I want to give a shout out to that because this is a great, uh, great stat here. Ohio State will face five straight undefeated opponents to start the season for the first time since 1940. Now, if you go back I mean, to last I mean, season. I mean, I mean, I mean, you can, you can, you can complain about, oh, well, it's Youngtown State and Indiana and West Kentucky. Okay, but how often does that really happen? That every team that you play is undef has not lost though. Especially going into week six here. And hey man, <laughs> went into South Bend and got the W. Yes. Yes. Literally the second, I, I I would say the second best win in college football right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I technically agree. speaking, you could call it the first best win, considering that Notre Dame is currently, according to the AP, for what that's worth, and it's not really worth much, but it's at least taking my bias out of it. If you look at the AP, the top ranked one loss team right now is Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. Who yep. I still think is a high playoff potential team. Yes. Ohio um, State could play Notre Dame again, is my point. Yeah. Yep, no, that's that is it. That is it. And then it looks like. The Ohio State game is going to be a noon kickoff on Fox. So we get to, for the first time this year. Is that first Gus Johnson? I think so for the Buckeyes. I it's not the first think... Gus Johnson, is it? I am going to double check here while you... Uh, Didn't while we you, have uh... Gus Johnson for Indiana? I think we had I Gus Johnson am... for Indiana. Right? That was CBS. Remember, that was CBS. No. We didn't have Gus. Did we not have Gus? You know why? This is Kyle. This is why I went to put Colorado in M tier. He's been doing the fucking Colorado so, games. Western Kentucky was on Fox, but that was a four o'clock kickoff. And then the Youngstown State was on BTN. So yes, yeah, this is the first Gus Johnson special. That's no wonder. 
This is this this is the actual reason why I hate Colorado. I guess Johnson's been doing Colorado games. <laughs> All right, Kyle, that's it. That's the oh. end of the show. Oh, no. Go ahead. One, one other thing here. Uh, and I know that uh, late last week, we, we had a recruiting episode here. And there was, since then, there was a decommit for Ohio State. Uh, Mark Nave uh, decommits from Ohio State. Um, this wasn't expected, but... I also am going to say that it's not uh, bad news for Ohio State. And I think we'll leave it at that. Yep, there's a couple of high-profile targets that Ohio State's looking at. Yeah. um, And even if they don't go and get those high-profile targets, um, the recruiting math has changed in college football. If you're Ohio State, the recruiting math has changed. If you don't feel like a guy is going to be, for one reason or another, a good fit, there used to be the attitude of, well, you still need a body. You still need a guy. You still need to go get, you know, still get still get some bodies and see if you can. But in the age of the transfer portal, you don't now. Now you can just say, well, we we're only going to get four offensive linemen through the through recruiting, which will leave a spot open to maybe go get another guy in the portal. So the recruiting math in many ways has changed because of the transfer portal. So I'll, I'll say if, if, if you are concerned about the decommitment, don't be. And I think we'll leave it at that. Mm hmm. That's it. That is all I got. All right. Tonight's ending music is brought to you by a Columbus based band called Slim Fit. Uh, You can, if you're listening to the podcast, just keep listening to the podcast. That song will start playing here soon. If you're watching on YouTube, you can click the link down in the show notes uh, and listen to the song there. We can't really play music on YouTube, so that's why we don't. And um, if you want to hear any of the other, if you want to hear this song, or any of the other songs we've played, we actually maintain a um, playlist on YouTube. Um, So just go to our YouTube channel, youtube.thesloopcast.com, look at our playlist, and in the playlist you'll find Ohio Music Only. I I think that's the name of it. Um, But it'll be obvious. It'll be obvious which playlist it is. You can go there and you can find all of the music that we've played on the show in the past couple of years and probably even more. Uh, so you can you can find all that music there and you can just stick it on shuffle and, and listen and maybe discover some local bands that you like. Um, local, of course, assuming if you live in Ohio. You can go find someone else's playlist if you don't live in Ohio. I, I can only maintain the one. So. With all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Slim Fit.